Hi, everybody. I'm Engineer Joe, and this is the Bible Train. And every time we get together, we get on the Bible Train, and we head to some place in the Bible to take a look at things that God has done, things that He's taught us, and promises He's made us. So we get on that train, and we travel through, and we discover some wonderful things. Now, if you know anything about trains, though, you know that an engineer can't drive the train just by themselves. You have to have a crew. And I have a wonderful crew, and our assistant conductor is named Miss Kitty. Now, the thing about Miss Kitty, and if you've got a cat at home, you know that they like to sleep a lot. And Miss Kitty has a little bunk right down here. We have to wake her up each time and get her to come up and help us as we take off on our Bible train. So I need your help to make sure we get her up here so that she can be a part of the Bible train today. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to go one, two, three, and then want you to yell right where you are as loud as you can, Hi, Miss Kitty! And that usually wakes her up, and she'll come up, and by golly, we'll get going. So are you ready? All right, let's do it. One, two, three, Hi, Miss Kitty! Hi, Miss Kitty. Hey, who's yelling up there? Oh, no, get up. They're waiting for you. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Hi, everybody. <laughs> you were really sleeping, weren't you? Yeah, I really was. I got really tired. Well, how come you were so tired? Well, I woke up and I started worrying last night. You started worrying last night about what? Well, I just started worrying about what's going to happen to me. Well, well, what do you mean, what's going to happen to you? Well, who's going to take care of me? Well, what do you mean? Well, what if you're not here? Oh, hmm. I see what you're saying. So, yeah, who would take care of you, huh? Well, you know, there'll be somebody that'll take care of you. I mean, but I plan to be around. Yeah, but I don't know. I just got a little scared. Well, you know, everybody gets a little scared about that sometimes, Miss Kitty. And I, I understand that. But you know what? I've got an idea. Why don't we take the Bible train someplace that can help you and me and maybe the gang out there to know that we're going to be taken care of by God himself. By God? By God, yes. Well, that'd be good. All right, here we go. This is what we're going to do. Let's get the train moving. And we're going to head out, and we're going to go to the book of Psalms, okay? All right, let's do it. Okay, gang, buckle up. Well, you don't buckle up. Well, never mind. You yeah, buckle up. Okay, here we go. All right, now, uh, do you know what to tell them? Yeah, I do. Okay, here we go. Because you're the conductor. I know, I know, I know. Okay. Oh, board! All right, there you go. Ready to go? Yep, let's get out of here. All right, here we go. We're going to start our train. We're going to start in Genesis. Go through the Old Testament. We get about halfway through, and we're going to be able to get about halfway through the Bible into the book of Psalms. And as we get in the book of Psalms, we're going to find a great psalm there that was written by a young man. Really? Absolutely. And do you know what his name was? Bob? No, it wasn't Bob. Philip? No, no, no. Wait, let me tell you. It was David. Really? David? David. And he wrote about... God taking care of us. Really? He really did. Now, I tell you what, I'm going to read it to us. Can, can I, uh, let me grab my glasses here. Okay? So, I want you to hear this, and I want everybody else to hear this, too. I'm going to put my glasses on, because I want to read the whole thing to us, because it's a great, a great promise from God. Okay? All right, here we go. Okay. Now, David was a king, but he was a boy, and he was a warrior, and you know what? He was also a poet. God inspired him to write some wonderful things. And one of the psalms that he wrote, he wrote many psalms, which were songs often, was Psalm 23. And I want you to hear what it says, okay? All right. And I want you to hear that God is going to take care of you. Listen to what he says. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. 
Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I like that. I do too. It's God's promise to us that he's going to be with us and care for us and always make sure that we get home to where he is. I like that. So I'm going to be okay? You're going to be okay no matter what, Miss Kitty. But I'm planning to hang around for a while, so I think you're going to be fine, okay? All right, good. I like it. Now, Miss Kitty, that's the end of our Bible train part, but we have to do something else. Do you remember what it is? Yeah, I remember. It was from Awana, huh? All right, kids, here we go. All right, now this is a special coded message for the Awana kids watching. And anybody can come join our Awana club on Wednesdays at 6 o'clock right here at Quail Lake Community Church. Just show up, and if you're sixth grade or below, you can be a part of our club. And we've got a special contest going on, and you need to have the code to be able to be in it. So Awana kids, this is what you need to do. Get ready to write down this number. And then what we're going to ask you to do is to fold it up and put it in an envelope and bring it to Awana and hand it to me. And if you have it, what's going to happen? They're going to get a prize. Yay! I like it. All right. So here's the number. 817. Write down the number. 817. 817. And then that'll be your code. And if you bring it in next Wednesday, then we will have a prize for you. I like it. Can I get a prize? You can get a prize, too. All right? Yay! All right. Hey, listen. We're looking at the clock. We better get out of here, okay? Yep. Okay. We got to pray? We're going to pray. So, Miss Kitty, show us how we're going to pray. Okay. Go like this. All right. We're going to fold our paws. Yep. Fold your paws. Bow your head. For you over there. Bow your head. Okay. All right. Here we go. Father, thank you. Thank you for reminding us that you're going to take care of us that you'll always be there for us, and that, Father, you love us, and, and, Father, that you are going to bring us home one day to be with you. Thank you for that. Thank you again for your goodness and grace, and bless all the kids and all their families in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen! All right. Ready to go to the Red Caboose? Yeah! What are we going to get? Hamburgers! All right, let's get hamburgers. So let's say goodbye to the kids now. And kids, we'll see you next time. And we'll see you Awana kids at Awana on Wednesday. Remember the code 817, okay? Yeah, all right. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.